Hey everybody, welcome to Burn to Learn. Have you ever had a bunch of emails rain on you in your inbox and you struggled to find a particular one? This is Rod Davis and in this video we will show you how you can avoid this struggle using Outlook 2016. So let's begin. Here we have an inbox with many, many emails. Let's select this email from Rod Davis and go to the Move tab and click on it so we can choose a folder where we move this email to. As you can see, there are many choices of email folders to select. And if we don't like these folders, we can click on Other Folder and choose one from that list. And if we decide that we want to keep a copy of Rod's email in our inbox, but still put it in a folder, we can click on copy to folder and that's exactly what will happen. And if we decide that we always want to move any emails from Rod Davis to a folder, we can go to the third option there, always move messages to this conversation. So let's click on that one and see what happens. So we click on it and choices of folders appear Let's choose the folder called Starred. We click on that and click OK. The email disappears. As you can see, the email is in the Starred folder. Let's open that quickly to make sure it's there. It is indeed. So that's how you move it. The Move button is a manual process so you can do it as many times as you want. Or, you can make a rule that will make the manual process automatic. Let's show you how to do that. So here we are. Uh, let's scroll up to our inbox. And we have many, many emails from Arlene about a family matter, her uncle's wedding. Let's click on that and then click on the Rules tab and see what we can do with this. Well, there are many options. We can always move the message from Arlene. We can always move messages to another address. But we want to create a rule, so let's click Create Rule. Now an instruction box appears and we want to review that. First, yes, we want to click on From Arlene, all emails from Arlene. And we want to click on Sent To, Sent To Burn To Learn. In the lower half, we want to do the following. Well, well there are several options. We can display in a new item, or we can play a sound every time Arlene's email appears. Let's click on Move the Item to a Folder. Click there, select the folder, and we're going to select family. Since this is a member of the family, click OK. And there you have it. Now click OK again. Click Run This Rule. Click OK. And as you notice, all the emails are gone from the inbox and all four of them now sit in the family folder. Let's open it to make sure they're there. There they are. Success. We just showed you how to create a rule. Now let's show you how to add another rule for a different reason. Let's say you're going off on vacation for a week. The question is, where do you want your emails to go? Okay, so let's go to the Rules button. Click that. And click on Create a Rule. And scroll down and click on Advanced Options. Now you have many, many, many things to consider. We're going to click on the specific received in a specific date span. So let's click on that. And as you can see, an instruction table opens. Click on in a specific date span. Now we have to decide the dates. So we're going to decide on 
what date after? Let's decide on the 23rd of July. Then click on before, open our calendar again, and choose July 30. Click OK. Click Next. Now we have to move it to a, a family folder. Click on Family. And choose a new folder name, Off on Vacation. Click OK. And then click Finished. So our new advanced rule is created. We have shown you two example uses of create rules. And as you saw, there are many rules to create. You can choose from several options. And if you ever want to change a rule or make a new rule or delete a rule, just click on rules and the manage rules and alerts tab. And then you can work on editing, copying, deleting, whatever you want to do. And when you are happy with those changes, just click OK and you are done. Now I have another question for you. Have you ever discovered an interesting article that you wanted to save and refer to at a later time? You can do this using OneNote and we're going to show you how to do it. Let's return to our inbox. And there is a very interesting article on seven steps of the research process. Let's click on that and then click on OneNote. Let's scroll down to the tips file. Click on that. Click on new section. Click OK. And we have done a virtual sticky note in OneNote. There it is. Now you know how to move or copy emails and how to filter emails based on select words. You also know how to set up a folder for your emails while you are off on vacation. You also know how to use OneNote to store your very favorite articles. In our next video tutorial, we will teach you how to manage tags.